Good morning. How's everybody doing? I got uh, Mike Hill from Keel Armor. How's it going, folks? What we're doing, we have Big Water 132 here for a client. Mike's going to go ahead and put a Keel Armor protection strip on it, just like what I have on my kayak, um, just to protect it. These are very, very thick holes, but at the end of the day, a lot of concrete boat ramps. We want to protect that surface. So we're going to go ahead and put a nice, durable, solid strip of keel armor on there. So I figured I'd just jump on here, do a live stream for everybody, and uh, um, just enable you to watch Mike do the install. So when you go ahead and uh, uh, if you decide to order a keel armor kit, you can go back, check out the video, and, and watch how easy it is to install yours. So if you have any questions, definitely uh, pop them in the comments below. First thing we're going to do is the boat's already brand new, but we want to make sure there's not any leftover mold release agent or anything in this material. So I'm going to take a couple, couple step process here and take just a little bit of acetone on a rag and just wipe down the area really thoroughly. And then after this, I'm going to clean it once more with denatured alcohol just to clean up any residue from the acetone. It doesn't harm the boat in any way. It's just going to really give you a good clean surface to adhere to. It's actually quite clean. There's not a whole lot of dirt on the rag. Give that just a couple moments to let the acetone dry out of all these little tiny pores that are in the surface of this kayak. Then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the denatured alcohol. Very important that you use denatured alcohol and not rubbing alcohol, as rubbing alcohol will leave a film behind. The H of denatured alcohol will not. So what is the first product that you use? First product was acetone. All right, let me see the acetone. These are available at any Walmart, Ace Hardware, Home Depot, Lowe's. That's the acetone. That's the first step. And then the second step is going to be with just uh, the denatured alcohol. Um, this is available any, at any hardware store. And we're just going to do the same process again. We're going to just wipe down the surface of the kayak real good. Okay, now I'm really slowly, these little circles here. Everybody gets down into this porous material on the kayak. All these little finite bubbles that are at the surface. And with this project, prep is the key. If you just take and put a little bit of nature on the alcohol on there and you go like this, or the acetone, you just go real quick like that, you're not gonna have the end result that you want, having this strong bond really well to your kayak. Take your time. You'll feel when the kayak's ready. It's gonna get a little bit harder to wipe back and forth. It's gonna feel a little more grippy. And when you've achieved that, like I, I can feel it here in this section of the, of the hull here, that's when you're ready for the next step. And now once again, we're gonna give that a few minutes to dry inside all those little tiny porous pores. I'm blow on it a little bit to help speed it out of those pores.
Now, what comes in your kit will be your armor strip, pre-taped with the 3M adhesive back, instruction sheets, and your adhesive promoters. So everything that you need, aside from your denatured alcohol and acetone, and if you have a used kayak, you're gonna to need to sand this and then heat it in order to take out any deep scratches and gouges. So for that, I would recommend Dawn Disc Soap and a scrub brush, clean any dirt and stuff off the surface of your hull, uh, a vibrating sander, some 120 grit sandpaper, and just lightly smooth any deep gouges that are in it out. Then you're gonna take a heat gun, which I happen to have, which I don't need today because this kayak is in pristine condition. But you take a heat gun, you would turn it on, place it just about a half inch over the thing and just work little circles like this. And you will see the surface of the material get shiny, almost looks like it's wet. At that point, you just keep working slow circles all the way down. And it will actually fill in and smooth and restore the surface of that kayak up to almost like new, make it ready for the installation. One thing about this tape, this tape loves a nice, smooth, clean surface to bond to. Okay, that's set up and dried. I'm gonna take one of my adhesive promoter swabs, give it a little squeeze. You hear the little glass vial inside it break. Tip it upside down. It's gonna eventually come down and wet the tip of this. And we're just gonna scrub the kayak with it. Go ahead. Work this down the surface of the kayak. right where that armor is going to place. That's the adhesive promoter. process again a little quicker this time just to rework this over the area we're going to install dry just a moment and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start do a quick placement to determine exactly where we want this to go everything looks pretty good right about there I'm gonna go ahead and take and peel back at the end just about six inches or so we don't need to go all the way off with it just yet take it center it up Line it right down the, tie, the heel of your boat, nice and straight. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead and pull it back a little bit. Move it down. Go ahead and work it the rest of the way out. And bring it right down to the bow of your boat. Now, once we've done that, we're gonna do a quick little press just to kind of set it in place. 
Now the next big key to this, this tape likes pressure. Pressure and time. Along with the adhesive promoter is gonna what's really gonna bond this to this kayak. So actually Chuck, yes. I wanna move this front horse out a little further. Okay. Underneath this to kind of support this weight a little better. So I can really press down on this. Okay. Now that we've got better support up here in the front, I'm gonna be able to go ahead and really press down on this. And you want to do about 30 seconds a section and put as much weight on it as you can get. Just kind of rock your hand back and forth over top of the material so that it conforms to the surface of the kayak. And just keep pressing on in. You have a small child, you have this laying on the ground. You can have, you know, an 80 pound child walk across it with a balance beam. Slowly from end to end, you just hold on to their hand. That's what I do with my daughter, she's nine, works great. Now, today's a nice warm day here. It's upper 70s. It is cloudy. Uh, on a sunnier day, this stuff will get even warmer. It'll get even softer, more malleable as far as making the left or right curves. On a cooler day, if you needed to, in order to make it conform, you can heat it with a hairdryer or a heat gun. In order to soften the material up, then it will shape left and right a little better. This particular kayak, it's relatively flat and even. There's no real need for it. This is now pressed and on there, nice and solid. And for anybody who wants to know just how strong that bond really is, I try to get this boat, this is a heavy boat. I can't grip it enough to get it up. I'll try to little it forward maybe. As you can see, off of the, actually off of the stand. I was able to successfully raise this boat with the little grip I can get on the edges of this material and pick it up off of the sawhorse. So it, is a, it forms a quite strong bond to your kayak. I just can't lift this thing up. It's too heavy. I got it about as far as I could before. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Chuck or myself and we'll be happy to answer them for you. Thanks, guys. Have a nice day. We'll get a close up real quick. Looks good, brother.